Hello and welcome back to another Chinese food adventure. I am in Changchun. It's a city in the northeast of China. And in Dongbei, these northeastern regions, there's a concept of eating known as he fan, just like a boxed lunch. And it's the kind of thing you're not really going to find in other areas of China because of A, it's very large portions and B, very cheap prices. So at restaurants like the ones you can see behind me here, this one's called Xiang Li Xiang. It offers all you can eat for 13 renminbi. That's under two American dollars. Now this I've got to see. Okay, I have arrived and check this place out. It's super local. Wow, this buffet is way bigger than I thought it was going to be. There are so many options here. It seems that we have a whole section here for like cold dishes. We've got a section here for our meats, tofus and carbs. We even have mashed potato there. Oh my God. Oh, hello. And over there, we also have a lot of veggies. This is way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. And oh boy, is this place busy. We're here just in time for the lunchtime rush. So for a long time, this Hofan concept has been a staple of the local diet, especially among like low to middle income earners that are on a budget because it's just so cheap and it really fills you up. But actually recently it's really blown up on Chinese social media. And I think the reason for that is in the last few years of the pandemic, people are looking to spend less. And for people in cities with a higher cost of living, for example, Beijing or Shanghai, seeing places like this that you can get so much for so little, I can only imagine is a very fascinating concept. Like I know for myself, having lived in both of those cities, you're not going to find anything like this there like this is all you can eat for under two American dollars I mean come on so I guess people are interested to know just how good can food for 13 renminbi all you can eat be well I'm here to find the answer we're gonna go to oh, Bahisa. <laughs> it's a lot happening we're gonna go to the front here and get us a pan anyhow we have two two how Okay, so 13 renminbi and I get this pan and basically I can eat as much as I want. I can even go back multiple times and just keep eating, keep eating, keep eating. So I could fill this up three times and it would still be 13 renminbi. Anyway, let's go in and eat here. So many things here, oh my goodness. I'm a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> so we've got a whole range of veggies here. We even have like, um, we have green peppers, we have doya, we have, oh, I really like these balls. These balls are really, really nice. Oh, over here we have noodles, we have tofu, we have meats. A lot of meats actually. And over here we actually have a lot of cold dishes, liang tai. What I saw a lot of people doing was grabbing some raw veggies like cucumber, spring onion, and then pouring some of this sesame dipping sauce over it. First I'm gonna get me some rice. Because I feel like rice is important when it comes to this buffet. So I think the rice is... There's a congregation of people over here, so I'm assuming this is where the rice station is. Yes, rice. Whoa. Okay, so we are just lining up to get some rice. Oh, we also have some sweet potato over here as well. As well as eggplant too. And mantol. Wow, a lot of options when it comes to carbs, not just rice actually. Wow, this is a massive bucket of rice, holy moly. I'm gonna take it easy on the rice because I wanna fill up as much as possible at this buffet. At that moment, I noticed a fresh batch of eggplant being added to the buffet, which looks so hot and juicy and saucy. That was an absolute no-brainer to get onto my plate ASAP. Then I just started piling things on. I'm just literally getting one piece of everything. I'm not even halfway through and I've already half filled up my plate. Oh yeah, let's get in with that. And they're basically just refreshing things all the time and new things are always coming out. Last but not least, I'm gonna get myself a couple of these balls. Here we are, guys. My plate. I have literally one of everything on this plate. I'm very, very excited. Let's go eat it. Big moment, guys. This is gonna be my first ever Dongbei He Fan experience, but I am not doing it alone today. I am joined by my Changchun bestie, Christina. Hi. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, so my name is Christina. I am from Mexico. Uh, I'm also living here in Changchun. We're going to stay here for two years. Uh, my husband works with Jack. Uh, at Audi, so yeah, that's yeah. how we met. I thought it was about time that I brought Christina along on a food adventure and oh my goodness, what a baptism of fire. This place is yeah. wild. <laughs> like, is. for so many reasons, like, can you believe that for all this food, and it's unlimited by the way, it's not just whatever you can fit on your plate, you can go back multiple times and it will only ever be 13 renminbi. Wow. Can you find something like this in Mexico for this price? Oh no. No, maybe a taco. <laughs> One thing I'm actually quite surprised by is how fresh and delicious the foods look. Yeah, and I think that everything remains fresh because everything is filled uh, again and again, so it's nice. Yeah. Huge turnover. And yeah, they're just constantly Whoa. coming out. 
Look at this guy. Bad. Just like constantly being refilled with new delicious foods. And it's not just us two at this table, it's a very busy place. So we have two shy girl here. Ni jing chang lai ma? Oh, good. I love it also. Ni Dongbei So, this kind of food is very popular, right? It's very popular. Why do you like Dongbei? It's very It's 在别的地方是吃不到的特意来这儿吃的这个盒饭从外地过来的你们是从哪里来的呢我们是从辽宁来的辽宁没有是吧辽宁也有但是要去延吉玩然后路过这儿就那个顺便来这儿吃一下打一
Oh wow. Mmm, how about you? How about you? Wow. What do you think of the egg? Well, it's really nice. It's like fried egg that they just dump into a sauce, I think. The sauce is amazing. It's yeah. not so sweet, it's not so sour. It's the perfect balance yeah. between. I think that mm. the jolk makes it like really creamy mm. and with the sauce, it's really great. Yeah. I'm like, just keep getting blown away by this food. Okay, Christina, what I like to see, getting to the end of our pan. I'm almost full, I want to eat more. I want to try more because there are also some noodles that I wanted to try. The tofu looks really nice, but uh, such a fooling. Food. Do you think you'll come back? Yes. Yes. Did you think you would feel that way by the end of this experience? No. <laughs> <laughs> One more thing I really want to try that I'm seeing quite a few people do. They're getting just like a little bowl of rice and then they're putting on top uh, mashed potato. Oh. Which is a concept I can really get behind. Carbs on carbs. So over here they have like these mini bowls for the rice. So just gonna get a little spoonful and let's go get us some mashed potato. How good does this potato look? <laughs> so we've been told we need to mix it up. This is just gonna be like a carb paradise. How is it made? The only other Dongbei style mashed potato I've had, which I'm imagining is kind of similar to this, uses the juice from making like a, a pork shoulder and then the juice from that goes into the, the mashed potato and it's just unbelievable. So I'm excited to see if this is gonna be that kind of taste. Yeah? Oh yeah. Yeah? It's really good. It's salty, but it's also like a little bit sweet. Oh! And um, yeah, it tastes like meat. Like I can see that it's made with a little bit of gravy. It's amazing with the rice. Like I, I could, I wouldn't believe it. It's really, really good. Oh, yum. Yum, it's like the potato goodness with a little bit of extra texture from that rice. That's a lot of mashed potato and rice, Amy. Comfort food. I still can't believe 13 Roman B. I'm gonna walk out of here. I'm gonna roll out of here. I'm not walking. I'm rolling. I'm full. How about you? I'm full. Yeah. Like full. we've we've hit it and quit it. Um, but how about we also go somewhere for a bit of a sweet treat somewhere else that here in China has a reputation for being very cheap but also very nice. Well, I always have time for desserts. Okay, right, let's so. go. <laughs> the dessert place in question is of course Mishu Bing Chong, easily identified by its snowman logo and its jingle that really sticks in your head. Okay, so this here is a bubble tea chain called Mishu Bing Chong, and I'm sure that everyone watching this video who is Chinese or has been to China will know what this brand is because it's actually the brand of bubble tea in China that has the most locations. It has over 20,000 locations in China, which makes it three times bigger than its closest rival. It's absolutely massive. And it's the chain that I'll see whenever I go to like smaller Chinese cities that dominates the street. Like every street will have a Mishu Bing Chong. And you know, it's cheap. It's cheap and it's tasty, and that's why it's very, very popular. Actually, fun fact, this is gonna be my first ever Mishu Bing Chong experience. <laughs> Christina is giving me such a look. Mm, have you tried it? Have you tried yes, it? Yes, it's the first one that I tried when we first got here. Yes, I love it. What? <laughs> Where have you been? Check out these prices and this menu. We only have one item that's actually 10 renminbi and that's for the larger size. Like, yeah, that's crazy. That's like less than one American dollar for a milk tea, bubble tea. It also has ice cream, two renminbi for an ice cream. That's like what? 40 cents. Oh, what about something like these and then just yeah. like a regular drink? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so the grand total is gonna be 15 renminbi. That's like... Mm, <laughs> you big spender. Yes, All yeah. up today, what have I spent? 13 times two, that's 26, yes. plus 15. What's that? 40, 41. 41 renminbi for two people for lunch and drinks. Yes. No complaints. So here we've got our strawberry ice cream and our strawberry iced tea. Now that is one big drink. It's a big tea. It's huge. Yeah, this is, I can't, I actually, it's actually a little bit laughable that this is my first time trying it. Like, it it's a concept that's been around for a while. It's no, it's not new. Actually, I think I saw on the sign it was founded in like 2017, 2000, actually wait. <laughs> in 1997. Oh, okay. so it's been around for a while. Better late than never. Yeah. Oh, very strawberry. -y. I don't know how I, I will ever go back to not have drinks like these. Like in Germany, you cannot buy anything like this. Yeah. It's just like, 
beer or water. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, you know, it's just so refreshing. It's just nice. It's got some things at the bottom. Yeah, it's chewy. What is that? It's like a jelly, right? Yeah, almost like a boba, but not. Now for some ice cream. Oh, this reminds me of like a McDonald's mm. strawberry sundae. Mm. Good. Yeah. I mean, for six room and B. Yeah, it's mm. really good. It's so refreshing with the with the topping. Well, this has been a great success. Yes. Thank you for coming along on this cheap food adventure. Mm. You know, next time we take you out, I'll, <laughs> <laughs> I'll spend a bit more. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming today and for helping me film and for providing your opinion on this fan concept. And uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Press that button that you see right there that says subscribe. Press that and uh, leave a comment. Like this video, it really helps more people see this video. Um, yeah, that's gonna be it from us. Goodbye from Changchun, see you next week. Ciao! <laughs>